Hello and welcome to Germany and we're going to go look at a World War II firing range that was used by the German Armed Forces up until the 1980s. There's a main road behind us that goes to the Netherlands and it's one of the roads where the British forces marched up and they had the light tanks in front of them and dug into this forest where the German army waiting for them. We'll go into the forest and show you the dugouts and the trenches where the German army were waiting for the British troops. We're just in the woods now. Um, there's the road leading down to the small army barracks that are down here at the firing range. This is the drainage ditch here. So the drainage ditch is there. In the forest, just a few metres, there's this dugout here, but it doesn't drain to anything, it is just a dugout. So me and Dave think this is one of the first firing trenches, because it goes off at 90 degrees as well, so they could move and fire in a way to change position and have a good firing line down the road. too shallow to be drainage ditches but they've had 80 years to be filled in by leaves and foliage. Yeah it goes off to the side here then there's a bit of a bump. I bet they had little uh, dugouts where they used to live. So this is a World War II German army dugout in the forest near the road that leads to the Netherlands because we are close to the um, German Netherlands border here and the Allied forces as you may well know advanced into Germany from the Netherlands you can see the line of it is perfectly straight if it wasn't it it's, it's engineered it's been dug out hasn't it stream or anything like that has been dug for a Going by the amount of depressions in the ground, I would think this whole area was filled with foxholes and dugouts uh, to prevent the uh, advancing allies coming down that road. Yeah, to the yeah. small barracks that we've got. Oh yeah. Up here. Yeah, there's another dugout there. Big depressions in the ground. Totally unnatural to the surroundings. So it can only mean one thing. It's been done by done by hand by men. That's an old fox so I can feel it all sinking underneath my feet. Yeah. It's just been filled in by leaves and nature over the decades. This, this another one here. Fire yeah. Right here. So these were German army firing trenches from the Second World War to prevent the advance or slow the advance of the Allied forces coming into Germany from the Netherlands. Another one here. Another one there. And another one. I can't begin to imagine the, the fear of the British forces advancing up a road because they were ordered to advance on roads and really they were just sitting ducks, they were just targets and the young soldiers, some of them were as young as 18 so they're not long really stopped being children and then they had a rifle and they were in a foreign country they probably never even heard of advancing towards Germany and they had in these trenches 18 year old boys who had been called up and they were firing against the Allies 
and they had no choice. There was no choice. There was no, no, I don't want to do that. You know, you're right to be a contentious uh, objector, I believe it was called. That was long gone. The Germans would, you know, if, if you didn't go to fight, you, well, don't bear thinking about. And as the war went on, the troops got younger and younger. We're a bit further down the road now, towards the barracks. We've just seen in here a large slit trench, or fire trench, here. So this is the drainage ditch, and then this is banked up here so it doesn't join it. It comes along here. I think this is too large to be a trench. I think it would have been um, either a command centre or, um, or, you know, somewhere for the troops to stay. Yeah, this is deep. It's got a branch that goes off that way. Yeah. This is a proper dugout, isn't it? Yeah. It's really soft underfoot. You can see where it's been picked. And it's all mossed over, so it's very old. It's a very old excavation, this. And it just happens to be looking up at the road. It's far enough away from the road to give you cover, but close enough so you can see whatever's coming down it. Yeah. But in a in a firing position like this, you're fixed. It, it comes. It's not parallel to the road. It comes no. at an angle to the road. Yeah. So you would wait for the advancing troops to get nearly to the end, more or less like into a funnel. And once they're in, just open fire, and there's no escape. No, you just wipe them out. Last we forget. So we're going to continue up the road now the barracks and firing range are just up here to our left what are you saying? is this the fence? yeah come in I just want to make sure there's no one round here Dave okay. just make sure there's no cars yeah okay. large hole in the fence there we are yeah. just want to make sure there's no cars round here So here we are. What's that in there? Oh, it's bracken, but it looks like barbed wire. You know, the big reels of circular. In we go. Let's go have a look. So this is the German army firing range in barracks from the Second World War, used up until the 1980s. Have a look in this building. This immediately looks like this looks like it was a mess hall. So it's got the panelled roof and the panelled sides. Looks like a restroom. And here we've got an electrical incomer there. This looks like it was an office. All the electrics have been stripped out. It's got the typical uh, lighting arrangement that the German army used to use.
We've got the lower light fit in there, possibly for over a pool table. Got another room here. This looks like it was an office. These are there were the heating pipes that have been bent up as somebody's taken. The radiators are on here. I think that's a reference to to recycling, but I could be very, very wrong. But I think there have been bins there, recycle bins. This could have been a tuck shop. This is what I was talking about where the dug in. So you've got fighters there all dug in on this map. That's what the German army would have kind of done when they were dug in during the Second World War, waiting for the Allies to advance. All dug in at different positions. Behind man made wood, wood mounds like that. Just had a large vehicle outside, so we're just gonna hang fire for a few minutes. So we've got uh, areas out here for vehicles. There's been a car park there. Yeah. Have a look in this room. This looks like a training room. There's been a briefing room to give instruction to the army trainees here at the range. The old plant pots have left behind. Oh, the roof's not looking so good in this one. On the floor squidgy. Yeah, there's been a roof leak and it's brought the ceiling down. Yeah, the floor is really soft. Let's go through here. So we've got a showers area. Shower. Toilet. What we've got here. Another electrical income there, or electrical distribution box. Ah, Telex, telephone exchange. That's there. You can see the marks from where the radiators have been. It's nice and cool in these rooms. So it's currently 24 degrees centigrade outside. With the sockets being on the wall there, this makes it me feel like this was an office. That's for ventilation by the looks of it. The 
stop that. Hand washing. Back to this room. There's a little plant room there, there's been a boiler. Little four standing boiler. Fairly strips out. Oh, massive fuel tank. Check that out. There's been a crook with oil tank, it still smells of heating oil. Oh, it's pretty cool. I like I like things like that. That's an expansion vessel for when the water expands in the heating system. That's a flow pump. That looks quite modern. Made in the EU. I uh, don't have a date. Um, no, it doesn't have a date stamp on it. And the pipe light has been like. This is a Wiesmann boiler, so I believe they're Swedish. I don't believe Wiesmann are Swedish, but they're very, very good boilers then. That's the boiler room. Watch your step, folks. Final room here. This door might be locked. Yeah, that's locked. I'll have a look through the window if we can. Yeah, that is another, another classroom. Ah, I think we've been in here. That's the classroom and the shower room. So I've actually been in there, so that's, that's okay. There's been the car park getting retaken again by nature itself. That's exploring Dave in a prone position. Have we got a vehicle Somebody now? Somebody just drove down the road. Did they? I think it's uh, just that little bit engine running. Oh. So there are some rangers behind that building. So there's what uh, behind the building? Some rangers behind that building. Yeah. But it's overgrown. We'll have a look at these. I think they, these was the officers when you come into the range yeah. to register yeah. and the accommodation for the range staff. Look, looks to be some buildings that were billet size for four men or so. Yeah, okay. I can hear somebody over there in the trees over there. Let's have a look in this building then. So what we got here? Toilet sinks. Toilets and basins. This area, so this is an external toilet block. The next one is the same. Yeah, it's just the same. Yeah. Slightly bigger but the same. So where's that car and what's he doing? Do you want to venture to range and leave this area? Where's the car? Is he just a dog walker or something? Could be. Yeah, let's go into the range. Should we go in here? Have a look. I'll just have a look on the satellite, see if there's anyone around. Well, this is well walked. Oh, 
was aware of their look. I think that's somebody with an airsoft gun. Pop, 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 pop. Sounds like it. Pop, 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 pop. There's loads of airsoft pellets about. Is there? Yeah, have you seen them? Loads. I've not seen any, I haven't noticed any. So we're getting the airsoft people down here. Right, yeah. I think we should go identify ourselves. I don't want to go down a firing range when somebody's using it. Thank you so much for watching, viewers. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by pressing the circle on your screen now. Next week, we're going to be visiting the firing ranges here in Germany. These were really long, over a thousand feet and high caliber machine guns have been using this range in the past. So check that out, Thursday, 4 p.m. UK time. Bye bye for now.